I want to share a very exciting natural remedy that you can take to enhance your sleep. As you know, sleep is so, so important. And there's one remedy that I think will work really good. And you just take a half a cup of this before bed and uh, you will sleep better. And that thing is kefir. Now, what is kefir? Well, it's similar to yogurt, but it's better than yogurt. It has a lot more microbes. It has between 12 to 50 different strains where yogurt only has between like one and three, maybe, maybe four or five. And as far as the quantity of microbes, not just the strains, uh, kefir has five times more microbes than yogurt. And a lot of these microbes survive uh, the stomach acids, whereas they don't with yogurt. Now, the real unique thing about kefir is that it has not only friendly bacteria, but it has friendly yeast. So the combination between friendly yeast and friendly bacteria, very important in their functions. Also with kefir, you're going to get less problems with, with lactose intolerance because those microbes in kefir eat lactose, milk sugar. So you're going to have less milk sugar and you're just going to have less symptoms, especially gas when you have kefir versus when you have yogurt. And there's a lot of other benefits with kefir. You'll have uh, less liver fat. You'll have less allergies, less constipation, an improved immune system, better blood sugars, better blood pressure because of how it acts as an ACE inhibitor and less pathogens. Now, regarding sleep itself, let's talk about what kefir can do directly for your sleep benefits. Your microbes make serotonin. In fact, 90% of all the serotonin in your body comes from your microbes. So more of the right microbes, the more serotonin. And serotonin is a feel-good hormone. It is a hormone that can affect your mood. It can help reduce stress. Not to mention, kefir makes microbes that can make melatonin directly. Now, there's several things in your body that make melatonin. In fact, all your cells can make a melatonin, but uh, mainly people think of the pineal in your brain that makes melatonin. But your gut also makes melatonin, both the microbes as well as certain cells, specifically an interesting cell called enterochromaffin cell. That's a, it's kind of an interesting cell because it's a neuroendocrine cell. So it's kind of a half neurological and half hormone. And those cells make melatonin and they control inflammation and they also control acids. And kefir makes microbes that make the amino acid tryptophan. Tryptophan turns into serotonin and then it turns into melatonin. So again, another thing that will help you sleep. Kefir also has a really good source of bioavailable calcium, which can also help you get to sleep and stay asleep. Now, the microbes in kefir also make certain B vitamins, including B1, thiamine, which greatly helps stress, especially if you're trying to go to sleep and you're thinking and you're thinking and you can't turn it off. B1 is what you need. And the uh, lactobacillus microbe in kefir helps reduce cortisol. Now, try to sleep when your cortisol is too high. It's impossible. So anything you can do to reduce cortisol will help you sleep. So that's quite a few things that directly help your sleep that stem from kefir. Now, as far as the type of kefir that I'm going to recommend, I highly recommend that you make your own. There's a really great website that I get my kefir crystals from that it's like a starter little uh, group of microbes. It's called kefir live grains, but there's no grains in it. And the website that I go to is called happyherbalist.com. And I don't get any cut or I'm not affiliated with this website, but it's just a really good source of high quality, um, very inexpensive uh, starter um, kefir grains. I would highly recommend, if you had the choice, use goat's milk, but you can use cow's milk. And on their site, they explain how to do it. They send you a little guide, and I will put the link down below. But basically, what you do is you just take one tablespoon, and you put it right into um, two cups of milk, and you don't need to heat it or anything. You just take it out of the fridge. You put it on your counter, put a little cloth top or even a paper towel with a little uh, rubber band, 
and you just wait for a day, 24 hours, and you have kefir, which is not as thick as yogurt, but you're going to have a huge benefit of all these great microbes. And you can experiment with the temperature to make it a little bit warmer or a little more concentrated or leave it out for a little bit longer to make it more sour, which means there's going to be less lactose in there and more lactic acid. And the cool thing is you can take these grains out and keep them in a little bit of milk and then keep reusing them over and over and over. And this way you have a fresh batch of kefir uh, on a regular basis. And I think the next best video for you to watch would be the one on using other things to help yourself sleep better.